Hello everyone, welcome to our fourth uh, session of retopping Groot here. Uh, okay, so we got uh, the chest started and uh, finished last uh, last time we were working on this guy. Uh, we also have uh, the head nearly done here. So um, I did notice uh, when we were working on this last time that there was a little hole here. Um, so I figured I'd take this opportunity to kind of show you guys how to fill this hole in. So in the situation where you can notice that when you're quad drawing, you're done, that uh, you forgot a spot. You could use the quad draw tool to fill that in, but if you would moved it away and you didn't want to activate the quad draw tool again or you just want to try a different tool out, um, the append to polygon tool is a great tool that will fill this in for you. So if you want to go to uh, your mesh tools, it's the second one from the top, says append to polygon. When you activate that, when you have your mesh here selected, uh, the edges will kind of glow a little bit of a brighter green. Those are the ones that you'll want to use to fill in holes. So you'll just select one of the edges and then these little arrows will pop up on uh, the edges that you can use uh, to con connect um, from the edge you had selected. So you can jump over to these eye holes, which is obviously not something you're interested in doing. Um, but if you click on the, uh, the edge opposing the edge you uh, currently selected, it'll give you this little pink box. And when you hit enter, it'll complete your tool and it'll fill in that hole for you. So you can look around see if there's any other holes. There's one more over here. That's a triangle. I'll have to fix that one after a fact. But I'll go ahead and just for, for right now fill it in. And then I'll adjust the geometry a little bit later on to compensate for that triangle. Okay. So there we go. Um, let's jump right back into uh, finishing our chest here. I want to um, finish the back side and get the... Uh, his back done so we can mirror this over and have his whole uh, uh, torso done this lesson. So, um, jumping off this guy, going back into our uh, our three D scan. I'm gonna add this one I have selected right now into my resurfaced group, so that disappears for me. Oh, um, there we go. Uh, I have to turn the my live surface back on. So, there we go. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna activate my quad draw tool and just go and get back to work here. So um wanna finish up this back side here. Um I'm gonna kinda I don't want to connect to this guy, so I'm gonna push this back just a little bit because I have the other one that I want to connect to, so um, I'm going to push all these guys over just a little bit so that when I draw my dots in, I'm not going to actually connect here. I'm going to merge it with uh, the geometry we've already done. Okay, so here we go, kind of... Uh, Drawn in our line here. Got a little the bump right there, so make sure we capture that the best we can. Going all the way up to his neckline. And uh, we'll have it stop right in front of where it's going to connect up here. So, okay, and we'll also kind of outline where we're going to have his shoulders. So, his shoulders right now are dipping in right here. I'll uh, outline the cuff right here for these guys. Back down a little bit. And there's more than one technique, like I said before, to doing this. And uh, you may feel that you want to go ahead and just connect all this up. And uh, that may work out for you. I'm just going to go with what's safe so that if, uh, if I need to tweak some of this stuff, I don't have to break it apart and uh, deform a bunch of the geometry. I can have a, a bunch of geometry that's already straight. So that's the reason I'm going the route I'm going right now. So uh, I'll go ahead and complete this one here. We, I think that uh, this guy over here is now getting in the way, so I'm going to add this one to a reference layer. 
Uh, so I'll have to jump back over here. There we go. I'll just create another layer real quick. I'll just call this one ghost. That way I can add this one in here, add a selected object, and turn this one to reference. Oh, I didn't want the other one on there as well. Hmm. Okay, so let's undo that. Let's see, just extracting this up will get me where I'm going. So let's we'll go to mesh and go to extract. Now these are two different objects. Add that one, this guy. So now if I turn visibility off, and this one's still part of it. So um, I want to add this one to resurfaced as select object. Oh, nope. Uh, my bad. I meant to add that to skin. I'm just going to remove, remove a selected object. Still part of it. Okay, so remove selected object. Hmm, okay, this one's being stubborn. I'm just going to kind of roll with it. I don't want to waste our time with uh, seeing why this isn't working correctly, but uh, we'll just go back into our retop and keep on going. So, uh, back to our modeling tools, back to Quadra. Essentially, it's going to work the way I want it anyways, but I was hoping it wasn't going to be a pain like it was. Okay. Okay, looking good. Okay, let's move this one a little bit closer. And some of these points are not quite the way that my geometry is running, so let's let's adjust it to where it's more like that. And we'll move this point down over here. And this guy can go over here. That way, now our geometry for our arm is running up and over. So we can have it connect in. That looks like that's going to work good. There we go. Using the geometry over so I can have some room to throw in one more edge loop coming down the back side here. Just gonna need some more geometry. Okay. That's looking good. I do want some more geometry here. And this narrow waist just isn't kind of quite pulling it out, so we're going to have to shove some of this over just a little bit more. Just so I can get a little bit more geometry in there. I want to be able to capture this. Oops. Uh, a little bit of this hump that's going on here. A little better. A 
you always got to keep in mind when you're working low res on you got all these details in here that you want to keep um, but a lot of this will get recaptured when you are doing a, a high res sculpt you're transferring over with like normal maps or whatever um, some of these like sculpt details will just come right back in with uh, your normal map so no need in that trying to agonizingly adjust all your your uh, retop to capture the surface details that are going to get taken care of with the normal map. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now, all these little roots that are coming out of his uh, his body, those are going to be a little challenging, but uh, I'm going to take an attempt at it and see uh, if I can make it work. Again, this is going to be kind of a yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can make some of this geometry as we run up and over and hopefully get to connect around. I'll do my best. Worst comes to worst, I can always add some of this uh, stuff in through extrusions after the fact, but I'm trying to do a, a good retop where I'm not inventing my own stuff. I'm working with what was there. Okay. Alright, so these other edges are being a little stubborn, so I'm going to complete this one here so that it has something to jump to. Then I'll just complete that one there. That takes care of that. And looks like okay. So I still gotta run up this side. So take care of that. Okay, so there's one root done. That actually looks pretty decent. I'm happy with that one. Now we just need to, uh, let's see here, uh, kind of move down and get some of these other roots here. Looks like we got about seven minutes to work on these guys and get these roots all done. And before I do that, I'm also going to finish up the connection that goes down for underneath the, his arm here. So let's take care of that. Okay. That looks like it'll connect okay. So between the two pieces of retops that I have going on here. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and work. Let's see here. Let's see what the retop on the side looks like. Okay, so I went right around here, so I'll just leave that on for a minute. Um, I'm gonna get this guy over here taken care of. And start working up and over on this guy. Oops. Okay, I ended up a little off in no man's land. There we go. 
There we go. And if you guys are wondering what I activated here to where these are both like this and the same glowing green is uh, I just turned uh, wire on shaded on. Um, I don't really like to have the wire on shade for the, the live surface model, but making it to where I can see the different pieces that I have going on here does help quite a bit. Okay. Yeah, this is coming along good. Just need to block out this last one here. Okay, so just throw one more quad in there just to fill in that area. But I think that that's actually going to work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and complete this. Go to object mode and uh, turn off wire on shaded. And now, uh, let's see here. We've got a couple more minutes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get this repositioned onto the back here. So um, turn off my... I scan. I'm going to duplicate this guy. Control D. Center pivot. Move this over here. Put both these guys over to the scan reference to get them out of the way. Okay, so this guy like you know, needs to be relined up because obviously it's intersecting a little bit. And we rotated it so it makes, it makes sense. So. Let's uh, go ahead and rotate this a little bit. Try to get fitted in here. Oh, we still have. There we go. Okay, so that almost lines it up. Let's check the four panels here. I'm almost out of time, but I want to make sure we're getting set up to move forward here. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and move it back just a teeny bit so I can uh, combine them and start merging stuff. Alright, so let's go ahead and select these two objects here. And we're going to go to Combine. I have one on my shelf that's combined, but if you uh, don't have it on your shelf, just go to Mesh, Combine, another one object again. 
So now we have to go through and actually connect up uh, this geometry here. So where it doesn't quite meet, we'll just add in a little bit more geometry and make it meet. So um, I'll use my bridge tool from this one to this one. Just select all three of these guys here. And I'll just bridge those ones. Uh, so you can go to Mesh Tools, Bridge Tool. That works for that one. We'll probably want to smooth this out after the fact. There's a little bit of a, a jump there. We can fix that easily enough. Hmm. Actually, I'm not really quite satisfied with how uh, how that looks. I think that it needs to come in quite a bit more. So I'm actually going to undo a couple of steps here, back up, and kind of rotate in a little bit more here. There we go. That say so that curve looks a little bit better. I think that before it was uh, a little too wide. Okay. Yeah, I can make that work. We can smooth the rest of it out with a smooth tool. So I'm gonna combine these two meshes. Then we go to mesh, combine. Okay. And in the next lesson, as we're at uh, over 20 minutes again. Um, I'm going to combine these two. I'll stitch these all together. Use the smooth brush just a little bit to kind of even out the roughness between the two different pieces of geometry. And uh, that's just the transition points. And then uh, we'll be on to uh, mirroring. And then we'll be ready to build out our limbs and uh, attach our head and all that. So um, this is a good stopping point. We'll go ahead, go ahead and save. File, save scene. Continue. It's good. Okay. So I'm going to stop my recording here, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.